Back with another video. Back with another reaction video. Consistent hooker in this drum, like I've been saying. I don't know what I'm stopping. I'm never stopping. These niggas is ass. But yeah, if y'all like these videos, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and shit like that. But yeah, we gonna hop straight into this drum. Are you serious right now? What's going on here? Are you serious, Marcus? What is this? What's going on here? Oh no, my tell me God. what you're doing here right now. They started off acting. Today I want to tell you guys about the time that we helped Yo-Yo place her boyfriend's Marcus to an epic loyalty test. Okay, okay. What you doing here with Roman Stang then? I told you to start off. A follow-up appointment. Oh, this one is lit. I ain't gonna lie. You a doctor too? Marcus. Marcus. This is a date. This one is lit. I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. It goes without saying yo, that yo, Marcus Marcus. ended up failing this loyalty test. But before I can let you guys watch the rest of this confrontation, I gotta give you guys some short, sweet content. So during lockdown, Marcus picked up photography as a hobby, and Yo-Yo was helping him out by asking some of her friends to model for him. Well, this is where mm -hmm. Yo-Yo's trust issues began. See, some of Yo-Yo's friends ended up telling her that during their photo shoot, Marcus was acting a little thirsty. And well, to make a long story short, <laughs> it was this thirsty behavior that made Yo-Yo want to place Marcus to the test. Yo-Yo, how are you doing? I don't really know what to expect, and it's kind of sad to say that, you know, I don't trust my boyfriend 100%, but... Well, I mean, do you have your reasons, though. Right. I I just hope that he Marcus is lucky. First of all, first well, impression. This is what I say. Marcus is a little fat ass. He, he, he a little, he a healthy, he lucky. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. That nigga lucky. I'm just being honest. Like I don't, I don't like to be a liar. Oh, so you gotta like that, okay? No, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> so our friend Madeline would be our decoy. For this test, we had to pretend to be another one of Yo-Yo's friends and reach out to Marcus. Madeline pretended to want to work with Marcus and ended up convincing him to come take pictures of her at her supposed home. Now, what Marcus didn't know, though, is Let's that this wasn't really Madeline's home. What he also didn't know is that this was all just the first portion of his loyalty test. Yo-Yo would be in another room watching and listening in to see if Marcus would make a move on Madeline or not. Mm -hmm. Now, if Marcus didn't make a move on Madeline, we instructed Madeline to flip the tables and make a move on him. Let's get negative. Hey, Marcus. So Madeline just got the call that Marcus is here. Okay, awesome. Just give me at the front door. Hello. Hey, how are you? Nice to finally meet yeah, you. Too. How how was the drive? Uh, oh, no, There's a lot of stairs here, just to forewarn you. <laughs> so this is the living room. I did want to shoot on the balcony. The one upstairs. Yeah, Marcus is lucky. Here. I ain't gonna lie. Yo yo shit. Yo yo ain't worried about my shit. Yo yo ain't nigga. Outfit, okay? So some of Yo-Yo's friends have told her that Marcus was acting a little flirty during their photo shoots, right? Well, for the first portion of this test, we wanted to see if Marcus would end up acting like that with Madeline. Um, uh, I'm gonna go get changed into my first outfit. This is you, by the way. Um, so if you wanna just take a seat, do you need anything at all? Oh, no. Do you, do you have any, do you have any other equipment? No. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, just hang tight. I'll be back shortly, okay? Madeline was going to give Marcus two outfit changes, or aka a little over 30 minutes to shoot his shot. After changing into the first outfit that she would be modeling, <laughs> Madeline then made her way back upstairs to Marcus. Okay, 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 okay. Yo-Yo watched on through the wireless GoPro connection, and contrary to what we thought would happen, the photo shoot was actually know. quite professional. Marcus didn't end up being the one that first outfit, so Madeline no, 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 went back no, no, changed, and then came right back up with her second outfit now on. Oh, he's really good in those angles. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see. You Yeah. Marcus took some cool pictures of Madeline, which you'll see how we got them later, but he wasn't flirting with her. Sure, there were compliments for her there, like but they were more photography based. <laughs> <laughs> she is like that. Yeah, let's definitely oh, yeah. do that. I'm like sweating. I definitely So Marcus remains professional and didn't end up making a move on Madeline. So it was now time for Madeline to flip she the got script. Nasa to a As instructed, Madeline brought Marcus she back inside Nasa. by asking him if she could check out the photos and share a small celebratory drink with him. I got a lot, yo, yo. They said a lot about you. You over here. You down right to that, niggas, too. OGX formula yeah. is up to two times. She probably thought off. she was and chilling with the fat niggas, too. Yours. Yeah, he ain't gonna do that to me. Hyundai Tucson versus Hyundai. Mm -hmm. Hyundai Tucson. 
wins every Fuck time. Fuck these ads, man. Oh. And we're going to have a celebratory drink, by the way, so prepare yourself. Just start pulling up the pictures, okay? Of course, the real reason why Madeline invited Marcus back inside and offered him a drink was because she was about to What's ask him on a date. What's up with them always using these fake-ass margaritas? So these little... <laughs> okay, so let's do that drink. I have Trulies. Is that cool with you? Marcus ended yeah, up taking the bait and trash. accepted a drink from Madeline. We had Madeline offer him a drink in the I first place as a way to keep him right. there for at least 20 minutes. See, drinking and driving is of course illegal, so the second that Marcus were to take one sip, Madeline could guilt trip him into staying for as long as she needed to make her move. How long does it usually take you to get photos out? I could have a few of them done in few hours. I'll have the rest of them done by the end of the week, though. Okay, good. I definitely like a more natural, like, edit, you know, nothing, like, crazy. Crazy photoshop. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Stuff. Why is he still sitting there? Like, I don't, I don't understand, you know, why he's still sitting there. Yo-Yo's yeah, ass, though. Okay. Right about, she's yeah. ass. Okay. She's chopped, so, too, okay. Gaza. You're gonna have to wait a little bit to leave, sorry, because... <laughs> Because no drinking and driving. Drinking and driving is a sparkling water. 5% is 5%, okay? Yeah, I don't think 1% is so good. <laughs> oh, I know he's not falling for that. I know he is not falling for that. Why is he still sitting there? Like, doesn't that sound suspicious to you? He's grown. He could call an Uber. So you got any cool plans for the weekend? Nah, <laughs> Kind of chill this week and a lot of work this week, so yeah. I'm not gonna edit these pictures. So. True, true, you're right, you're right. Well, if you find some time, um, I am throwing a party next Saturday if you want to come. Like, look at, I ain't gonna lie, I hate no, when I'm I say this, but Airbnb, nigga, so it's a little me. bigger house. Yo. It starts like at 8, but if you want to hey, come oh earlier, God, right, right. then you can bring like the final edits in and you can show them to me. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah, that should be a problem. Like, if you come around 4, I think you'll have time to like look at the photos. And maybe we can take a dip in the pool, maybe order food, I can set up a little picnic, you know, make it into like a cute little date. Like, hey, a yeah. A mini date. A pop-up little date. Yeah, a little, little mini date. Come on, if look at this nigga. He should already yeah. know. Come on, how many, how many be like, come on. Come on, that's not your speed. Does not sound suspicious. That's not his so speed. So our tactical move had worked. Madeline you sure did not even hit speed. You think so that looked better than your girl or would not you too? She proceeded to kicking Marcus out. Come on, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. You like kicking me out? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not kicking you out. You're more than welcome to say. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Really. <laughs> I got to finish my alcohol, though. I thought it was about my safety. But, but, I know. I'm nah, sorry. You got what you wanted, so now it's time for me to go. <laughs> wow. So this is what he does. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, now we just have to wait a week and stuff. So Madeline is pretty much just gonna message him. Uh, I'm just about to say, why Yo Yo got over the different outfit? It's over. So maybe, just maybe, that one drink that Marcus drank made him susceptible to agreeing to go on this mini date with Madeline. Separate really days to do this? You know, that's why Yo-Yo decided crazy. to give Marcus like, a chance to go crazy. home, sleep off the drink, and then decide if he really did or didn't want to go on that mini date with Madeline. Unfortunately, though, after Madeline texted him later that week, Marcus was still down to go through with the mini date. Now, if you guys recall, Madeline had told Marcus that they would have been together eat. at a she bigger house. Better. But we decided to save some she money and execute the second phase of this test at our apartment. Oh. I mean, besides, all we were doing this time around was simply waiting and seeing if Marcus would actually end up showing up. Which, as you all know, he eventually did. Butt. This is one of the ring cameras downstairs for when they're in the kitchen and stuff, because there's no cameras like pointing towards the kitchen. So I'm just going to set this up right over here. Yeah, that's his speed. That's Marcus. Yo, yo, speed. I'm looking at her. Yeah, that's his speed. Upstairs as Madeline waited that's for his Marcus speed. to arrive right downstairs. Soon enough, Madeline ended up receiving the call that Marcus was here. Hey. Hold on, huh? Marcus had arrived as he said he would, and with him, he brought an unexpected surprise. Unbeknownst to us, Marcus brought Madeline a vodka bottle and a whole damn teddy bear. Are you? Nah. <laughs> 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 Nigga came with the teddy bear? <laughs> no. Who's that in her hand? Oh my god, I don't know. Marcus. Can you see here? Let's zoom in here. Nigga brought her. Is that what you got to get a drink? A gift? Oh, rip. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, behind you. That should tell you something. That's not his speed. So what he do, he got to act out the ordinary. Get niggas shit. Bring shit. Because it's a party? That ain't that, though. He's sprung. Like, use that. You show as is. This is ridiculous. 
Remember, Boris, this is the party of happening later tonight. So I can see why you brought the bottle. But the teddy bear? That was a bit much, in my opinion. How was your drive? Oh, so Marcus, Marcus. Wasn't that good? Good. Regardless, though, yeah, all Madeline know. had to do now was simply hold Marcus there. Same shoes last time. We ain't gonna talk about it. Madeline did so by asking Marcus to finally airdrop for the first time. Same shoes last time. She would be checking him out for the very Crazy. first time for as Crazy. long as she could. So Madeline Crazy. Crazy. Madeline took a reader to John. What? She sat him down and right before Marcus. That's definitely her speed. She's his speed. They ain't speed. Yeah, that's their box. If you still want to go down there and have a conversation with him, although you don't have to, if you don't want to, you can always change your mind. No, I want to. You want to? Yes. So do you think like this is enough? Because some people would actually consider it like, oh, he didn't even do anything with her. He wants to do something with her. Literally look at him. What is it with the teddy bear and the bottle? Like, maybe you're just supposed to be showing your pictures. Do you do that for all of your clients? <laughs> Ooh, who is she? Ah! <laughs> I'm fucking with Hope. He's lit. So that, he ladies like. and gentlemen, brings us back to where this video started. Yo-Yo has decided to confront Marcus, and I can now let you watch the confrontation in its entirety. Last thing before you do, though, don't forget to cop yourself some exclusive bro, 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 bro
at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I am yo, yo, shit. Yo, 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 right now. I supported you and I gave you a sorry ass a chance. And this is all. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I tried to help you. Now I'm stupid. Now I'm stupid. Okay, you know what? I, I, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Ain't nobody wants a funny ass anymore, okay? So what I need. Because, no, no, what I need from you. Listen to me. What I need from you is my phone back, okay? It's my phone because I paid the majority of it. So give me my phone back, please. That's all. No, give me my phone Yo, back. Yo, what did I say? Yes, yes, Marcus. I need yeah, the money back. I'm done. I need the money back. Right Just give me my, my money back, please. I don't have any cash. You don't have any cash. Next okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine, Marcus, because we accept Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all the forms of electronic payments. So please just give me my money back. I'm supposed to send you money if I don't have any money. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. And I'll just hold on to the phone. After I got in here. Oh. So I can't even do that. Mr. Professor, there's a little thing we call a charger. Does anybody have a charger? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It makes no sense to do that. I have no money. Okay have any fucking money give me the phone back and i'll hold on to it as collateral just give me the phone simple give me the phone and you can pay me no, what did I say no, it makes perfect earlier. sense it makes perfect sense no give me the give me the phone give me the phone we got the charger give me the phone i don't have any money what's the charger give me the phone are you deaf are you deaf are you deaf give me the phone i'm gonna give you the phone i'm gonna give you the phone where are you going where are you going you're going to the bathroom Where, where, where are you going to the bathroom with my phone? So you're this this man is fucking ridiculous. He's a fucking bastard. What did I say before, bro? So apparently Yo-Yo has no way. to pay for his phone, and she's now asking for that money back. There's no hold way. On to the phone is collateral. The big question is, though, will Marcus even give her any of that? Where's my phone, Marcus? Where's the phone? Marcus, where's the phone? In the bathroom. Where's my phone, Marcus? I, give me my phone. Actually, give me my phone. Give me my phone. This cold. It better be in the fucking bathroom, Marcus. I swear, if this if this phone is not in here, I will fucking burn all. Oh, fuck you, Marcus. Fuck you. I'm not in the toilet. What happened? This man threw my phone in the fucking toilet and pissed on me. <laughs> No, that's the Toilet. type of niggas you like, them broke niggas. So rather than just coming to Those some sort of agreement niggas. with Yo-Yo about the fuck, that we're the same kick with everything. I, I'm going to grab all this fucking equipment, and I'm going to light that shit on fire. <laughs> oh my goodness, no, I'm not okay right now. He threw my phone in the toilet. He threw my phone in the toilet, and he didn't just throw it in the toilet. He pissed on me. And she's oh smiling. God, Why are you smiling because of this shit? I don't get it. Y'all bitches be so weird, boy. Somebody please tell me what I'm supposed to do with that. And I don't know what kind of diseases Marcus might have now that he's been running around on me. Uh, we can throw one on the charger and see if it still turns on. This is what happens. This is what happens when you trust men. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth of it. This is what happens when you trust men. Oh my goodness. Niggas is tight really Monday at 8 He actually oh threw my, God. my, he had the audacity to throw my phone in the toilet and then pee on it. Like, what kind of animal does that? Because that's what he is. He's an animal. I mean, I think they're waterproof. Ew. That's it? Nah. Oh my God. Listen. That was definitely one of the best shits. We watched. Marcus is exactly who I thought he was. Watch out for those motherfuckers. What my son Gilly be calling on that homeless sexuals and shit. They be yeah. So you told me homie ain't had no money, he had no phone, he had no phone, he had no money. That mean what you got? What the fuck? That's crazy. And then she over here. That type that shows why y'all jaws liking these niggas. The drones that like these niggas with one pair of kids, no breeze, no nothing. Would, would you, what? Would you, man. Hey, man, y'all know how fuck this is crazy, but y'all fuck with that video. Give it a like, give it a comment. Yeah.
What in the what? Son threw the phone in the garbage. Pissed. I said in the toilet. Pissed. I think it ain't real right. Man.